Good afternoon. I am Mr. Caselius, stepping in today due to weather complications during our previous filming. Here with me today is Mr. Caselius. Today is Monday, February 26th, a B day. Today's lunch is cheese quesadilla pizza with yogurt cup, lettuce salad, steamed carrots, and choice of fruit. Tomorrow's lunch is Italian Dunkers with marinara sauce, french fries, steamed green beans, and choice of fruit. Tonight is the 8th grade band and choir concert. Band students need to be in the band room by 6.30 p.m. All music students need to be wearing black and white. Sound like music to my ears. It certainly does. There will be a student council meeting on Wednesday this week from 3.30 till 4.30. And congrats to the following February students of the month. The character trait this month was Curry. Sixth grade is Macy Ellums, Stephanie Jennings, Aiden Nelson, and Nick Foster. Seventh grade is Adrian Bayer, Wyatt Cooney, Golden Bunce, and Quinn Emery. Eighth grade is Sheila Larry, Marissa Denninger, Kale Echo, and Tate Place. Great job. Your award will be given to you and picture taken today during Panther Time. A reminder to students who have been absent, please turn in your note to the office. Students returning from an absence or who wish to leave school during the school day must present notes from a parent or guardian at the attendance window prior to the beginning of school. It is also acceptable for parents to send an email excuse. Late arrivals to school and any other attendance matter may be dealt with during the school day must be handled through the main office. Students are to be in class by 8.05. Musical practice will be Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, Friday this week from 3.30 until 5. Please check the schedule that was given out last week. If parents would like a copy, please email Ms. Kowalczyk. She has a detailed schedule that lists scenes which are being practiced, which actors are needed in each attendance. Please get your Hoops for Heart money in by the end of the week. One dollar will get you into the dodgeball game, and one hundred dollars will get you an opportunity to play. The top five donors will get a Subway lunch on Friday. Sign up is easy. Go online to www number two heart.org Ellsworth Panthers. To date, we have raised a thousand dollars. That just warms my heart. It certainly does. Now over to Mr. Casilius with your birthdays, sports, and weather. Thanks, Mr. Casilius. Happy birthday on Friday to Kaylee Haley, Andrew Culpa, Kyle and Catherine, and Janessa Radke. Happy birthday today to Nick White. In sports today, like every day, the Packers are better than the Vikings. The weather for today, as seventh grade geography students will be able to see on the map behind me, there is a high pressure area over Wisconsin, giving us our sunshine. We will have a high of 36 and a low of 15, a 10 mile per hour wind speed and a 10% chance of precipitation. There is a cold front out west, which will bring precipitation later this week. Now, back to Mr. Casilius at the news desk. Thanks, Mr. Casilius. We have one last special news story under last week's theme of President's Day and patriotism before we begin our new theme this week of spring break. In honor of the Panther News crew that tried to feature a rap battle that didn't make it on air, let's send it over to Crazy C. Casilius for a few attempt to bust some rhymes. Did you say bust rhymes? Are we breaking things? Negative. Yo, 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 it's Crazy C. Casilius here, where the C stands for civics. Coming to you from colonial times, where I'm about to bust some rhymes. Feel free to rewind and take a second glance. I'll call this one the Declaration of Independence. I made this rhyme because there comes a time when it's legit. It's legit to split. I tend to share our wishes, express how we feel. Get ready, get set, it's about to get real. These truths are self-evident. All men are created equal. It's about life, liberty, joy. That's it. There's no sequel. Governments made of men with power from consent. Feel free to take notes over my colonial vent. When destructive about these ends, the government must learn. Respect our rights or else you'll burn. Prudence indeed will dictate, don't change. Mankind will suffer its home on the range. Until a long train of abuses and usurpations causes a fight for the right. New rules, new nation. Colonists suffer, colonists' lives spent with a king on the prowl, a cruel tyrant. I spit my rhymes, I spit the truth. Here's a list of his ills from here through the roof. Judges in his pocket, taxes without our voice, troops in our homes, new rules, our choice. Blood in Boston, a trail of tears, Petitions of peace fallen on deaf ears. We therefore assemble, publish, and declare we are free people to everyone, everywhere.
Thank you, Crazy Casillius. You're so talented. Hey, Mr. Casillius, want to hear something random? Negative. Did you know that bacon was used to make explosives during World War II? Wow, that's random. I can think of a lot of better uses for bacon, like eating it for breakfast, and lunch, and dinner, and dessert, and bedtime, and bedtime dessert, and pre-breakfast snack. Okay, we get it. Well, that's all today for your Panther News. And as our fellow TV star Ellen says at the end of her show, be kind to one another. Thank you for watching. Panther News out.